Have you ever come out to your car in the morning and uh, the battery's dead and you wanted to figure out what caused it? Well, today on One Man's Trash, I show you how to figure out what caused your battery to go dead. Okay, so my wife came out to the car and uh, said the battery's completely dead. So uh, I put a jump starter, or I put the charger on it overnight and uh, came back out this morning before I went to work and checked it. It had 12.9 volts. And then, uh, so I turned off the charger and I went to work. When I came back, it checked the battery again. It says 10.5 or whatever it said. So I knew something was drawing the battery dead. Got to figure out what it is. How do I do that? The easiest way is to get either multimeter or test light. Multimeter will give you more detail, It'll tell you exactly what is how much is being drawn. Test light will just tell you whether you're drawing something or not. So what you do is disconnect your negative, and I just got a piece of rubber hose here just to insulate. Connect it to your battery terminal, and then I just connect it right here to the negative terminal. You see the light is on meaning that there's power going through there, enough to light that bulb, which uh, if I put my multimeter on, what you do here, make sure your red is set to the one that says amp, which is this 10 amp DC right here on this one, and then turn the dial to a 10 amp test. And can you read the meter? Yeah. So if I touch it here and here, it'll say that I'm drawing 1.2 amps, which is a lot for, if that was drawn that overnight, that would, that would definitely kill your battery. But for discovering what the problem is, I'm just going to shove that back in there. Because that just gives me an e easy visual reference of what's uh, what's, uh, when it goes away, I'll, I'll know that I've pulled the correct fuse. So that's basically what you do. Uh, now I've already figured this problem out, but I just wanted to show you how I go, went about it. Um, I got my fuse panel here, the main fuse panel for the car. And what you do is just start pulling fuses. Now I pulled fuses until I discovered this one. And it will, it didn't go dead immediately. There it goes. Now it's dead. So, what I discovered, uh, you've got to get online at this point and figure out what does that fuse power. I, my wife got on and online and figured out that that happened to be number 15, I believe, in here, in the main fuse panel. And it powers fuses 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 on the inside panel. So, next step is go into the car. Okay, so come in here to this fuse panel, and as you can see, the camera won't focus. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of fuses in there, but I see that number five looks like this is the third one over there on the top. And I'm gonna, yeah, so pull that one. Oh, this, okay, so pull that one. Obviously, I already did this, but I just want to show you. And now my light is out. So now I know that that fuse, whatever that fuse is powering, is drawing my battery dead, which happens to be the radio fuse. So now I know my radio, somewhere on my radio circuit is bad. Now, whether it's the radio itself or, the, uh, or a wire to the radio, I don't know yet, but hopefully that helps you. Um, discover what is drawing your battery dead. Now obviously I can just leave the fuse out of the radio and drive the car and not have a problem and just not have a radio. But um, depending on what is causing the problem for you, um, obviously that'll just get, get you in the right direction. So hopefully that helps. Uh, thanks for watching.